Okay, uh, put a new cam battery in the camera here, so I'm back. Just going to show you the electrical and stuff. Uh, the reason why I'm going into this, I know it's pretty straightforward for m most guys, like your DIY guys, mechanics and stuff, of course, aren't going to have a problem at all with this. But the reason why I'm going to film this is because the people with the healthcare system, like I was explaining, they, they don't want us working on our own stuff. I, I can see where they're coming from on that, the liabilities and whatnot. Fair enough. I, I'll agree with it to an, to an extent. But when it comes down to common sense, I don't agree with it. People, they, they, they're taking advantage of people who are sick. They're trying to make us buy expensive stuff that isn't needed. They're trying to make us take stuff that we can service or do a certain amount of work on, or the caregivers, in this case, is probably going to end up doing the work on. But there's some people that are in wheelchairs that are really handy and, and they may be paralyzed, but they can still do a lot. Everybody knows that. So just with this, I'm putting these batteries in the boxes. Uh, group 24, these are a little bit shorter, that's fine. There's gonna be a little bit more room in the top of the box. But the way these are set up is these caps go on there and you hook these cables up to your battery. I just realized that I'm gonna have to turn one of them around, but anyways, because you can kind of see where the, these cables have a bit of a memory where they wanna be and positive and negative. No, actually that one's gonna be fine because when I flip it upside down, got my positive and negative right here so and then they just clip to get the they both clip together right here like I was showing you with that clip and I just can't really get it apart on my own but you just hook up your positive and negative to each battery positive and negative on this side and there's diagrams inside the box right here it's super easy to do you don't need to buy the like, super expensive batteries from the from the people who sell the wheelchairs the powered chairs even though they will swear up and down that you need to and you even have a warning in here Group 24 batteries only. I, I would be. I wouldn't hesitate to use any deep cycle battery that fit in these boxes. So just the dimensions. It does, I don't. I wouldn't worry about Group 24. But the bigger batteries aren't going to fit in here. Smaller batteries might not give you as much range. But if you were, if you did want to go buy some lithium batteries, get them online or something, and put them in here, and they're a little bit smaller. But they have to be a Group 31 replacement, and your amp hours and stuff. You want to check all that stuff out. I wouldn't hesitate to to do it though and you could change the ends on these cables. these are just pretty small cables for a 24 volt system but you could change the cables and the ends there's a fuse in here 80 amp fuse you got your diagrams here it's pretty simple i just want to show everybody how that works so this top is going to go on here and it's going to be hooked up that battery has been on the charger for a while this one's good that i've got on the charger currently but this one's a little low i sure hope it's not shot because these were pretty new batteries so see, you can see these ones have a 750 cold cranking amp, 55 amp hour. So they're they're pretty close to or better than the ones that were in this thing when I got it. And those ones were were totally shot. Things sat forever, and they probably froze too. So that's what I'm going to do now is, is hook these batteries up, put them in the box, slide them back into the back of this old beauty, and see if it fires up. Okay, so when you're sliding these batteries in. These pieces of the, you have to use these plastic bo battery boxes or you'll have to come up with some way of so hanging the batteries in there if you want. You could do it, some, you could build something if you're handy that, that hooks in here and holds your batteries. The easiest way though is just to get the batteries that fit in the battery boxes and use them. So this piece is male, of course, female. The first set goes in, automatically clips in. Those two guide, metal guide posts will line up and then your connection will just go right together because it's lined up with these rails here that these parts of the boxes just slide into i just sprayed some lube in there i'm using this stuff it's called pen lube this is supposed to be the some of the best stuff uh, if not fluid film works really good too for electrical connections that they really it really repels the water and keeps the corrosion out of them so i'm just because this thing was sitting outside i'm cleaning all the connections up as i put it back together I'm just going to put a little bit on these guide pins too so that they slide easy. And I put some on those rails. You could put you know, just a little bit of penetrating oil or something on those. It'll help you slide these in. So I'll just see if I can just dangle it. I don't know if it's going to put this in. Just go like that with the handle. Make sure that your handles don't catch. And you can see our connection right there. And just push it up, push it home, and she's connected. All right. So 
and this piece here goes on. Uh, it locks somehow. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put those batteries in a little further by the looks of it. They must not have went all the way in with the front connection, but that goes on there, and then you just pull these levers, and that'll clip onto those dogs there and hold it in. Okay, be right back. Okay, so what I had happen in there when I couldn't put that end piece on for the batteries is up my front connection up in there wasn't all the way in so I had to take the battery back out put the front one in all the way and then put the rear one in now this should you gotta make sure these straps don't get caught in the tracks too when you're putting sliding the batteries in unfortunately I don't have the battery charger 24 volt charger for this thing down at the shop here. There we go. Okay, now this thing goes on and holds them all together. This, there. And I think the batteries are a little low on charge. But anyways, I put them in there and turn it on and guess what? It works. So here's our speed control. Maybe I have the speed control turned. I was going real slow though, so I think it's I think it's um, got some low batteries in the battery. You can see that it's almost empty. Or that meter maybe is a couple LEDs are gone out in it. But anyways, there's your speed ranges. Just off and on and then speed range. And then I figured out how the there's this button on the side here. And that's your tilt. So you push it once, it goes down. Push it again, it goes up. That's nice. And, oh yeah, okay, so we got some juice. I just had it on the, I just had the speed turned way down. All right, so I'm excited. This thing works. That's excellent. Yep, and it goes pretty fast too. Turn the speed back down a little bit. There we go. Yeah, good stuff. All right, I'm really surprised that this old girl still works. So, because it sat outside for so long. All right, and everything clears. So I could probably put it into service just the way it is if I cleaned it up a little more, but that's just not my style. This thing is just so ghetto right now and dirty. I'm going to start my fabrication and get that seat on this sucker. Alright, so I uh, just got this thing going there and I uh, just took the back backrest off. It's just held in by like clips and stuff, that little spring-loaded pins and that, so that's super easy to do. It's actually a pretty nice little design there. But that's going to be the new seat. Super, just a real good upgrade. A lot nicer. But, like I was saying, you can see how tall it is. It's way too tall. So I'm going to have to figure out what's going to stay and what's going to go. I could drop it a few inches if I build the hooks down and kind of drop it right into that frame. It's just sitting on that plastic plate right now. So if I could somehow put these hooks down to here, I could gain a couple inches. That's still not enough. This seat, this bottom of this cushion here is going to have to be around this height here maybe a little bit taller which is too bad because i want to keep the forward and back slide now i'm not going to write it off completely at this point i think there might be a way see i, I want to that that's the release for the for the hooks and the linkage so you could take the seat right off uh, at this point i think i'm going to have to ditch that just because of the design i want to keep the tilt and to keep the tilt i'm not going to be able to it's going to be too tall if i use the quick release system out of the minivan which is a bummer but it doesn't matter it's gonna it's still gonna be way nicer when I get this done so anyway but you can already see how much more modern it's gonna look and then once I get rid of those goofy looking stirrups on the front and build something nicer it's gonna be real good so that's where I'm at right now Let's see where I don't know if I'm, I'm probably gonna have to leave these I'll just I'll just have to clean them up and I'll have to make them so that they clearance so you can swing them down without them interfering with these armrests here because these are definitely staying. They're a lot nicer and they're just uh, just convenient. They fold up and down. So I, I might have to make these a little bit shorter or make them so they swing out a little bit wider. In any case, it's going to be a fun project and I'll keep you posted. Okay, getting this thing tore apart here and I'm getting the seat disassembled that's going onto the wheelchair as well. Now that I've got the plate, that plastic plate over there that the cushion was sitting on originally, it's pretty pretty basic. It's got a chunk of aluminum angle iron on the back that you can see there. Some Velcro that the original seat cushion would have stuck to. 
pretty basic, nothing fancy. Uh, here's the seat frame. So as I was saying, the seat only have so much clearance in between this frame and the top of the batteries and the control. There is uh, control for the motors and relays and stuff in this box here. So this can only go down so far. And then this is kind of neat here. You get a good, really good look at the actuator. This electric actuator is a motor there. And then this is just like a equivalent of a hydraulic cylinder. And this is just like a dump box frame on a dump truck. So it's, it's pretty neat. I, I like the design. It's, I know that guys build a lot of stuff out of these wheelchairs and I can see why. You see them on robot wars and stuff. They'll use the electric wheelchairs and put remote controls on them. And uh, it's really cool. You could use this. If you got one of these things for really cheap or free, you could you could make a little dump truck out of it, or or you could make a remote some sort of remote control track vehicle or something. I'd like to build one with tracks like this and make it a hybrid, so you can put a, a Honda engine on it, like a five horse engine with an alternator on it, and charge the batteries. Or you could just not take the engine right off, have it on a on like a hitch with a plug in to the alternator, and then just run on battery power when you're indoors and when you're outdoors run it with the engine. I'd like to do that. <clears throat> uh, I don't know when that's going to happen because I got a lot of projects on the go. This is actually, I'm having, I'm enjoying this. I haven't been able to tear into anything like this for a while because I've been busy with my house and working on my shop and stuff like that. So I'm getting it taken apart. I got the other, the other footrest piece out. It just slides in and out. This side's still on. Had a ton of bolts holding this on, just quarter inch hardware. But see, this is totally adjustable so it can go and slide. There's quite a lot of adjustment there. So I might have to try to reuse some of that tube or I might I might just move these in like this to the inside like I was talking I could even possibly use that tube that already is in there and I, don't know, I just heard somebody honk I don't know. I think they're honking at me anyway sorry uh, distraction I could probably just put a put a mount in there and then they would still be adjustable but they'd be inside I'd have to make sure it cleared the wheel or possibly like this like I was talking to having one anyway I'll figure that out later uh, those are there. So when you see people talking about custom fitting wheelchairs, these are really cool how they make them totally adjustable. It's super basic stuff though. I can't believe they charge $16,000 for this setup. Uh, I know there's some electronics and some drive motors that are expensive and the batteries, but still. I mean, to charge as much as a new snowmobile for one of these things is, is kind of outrageous, I think. And that's what I'm saying about the healthcare people, that they do take advantage. So here there's, you can see adjustment here for your whole seat frame to get closer to the front wheels. I think that's, I think I'll probably do that just to get more wheel, like for the footrest, more clearance there. So I'm going to have to figure out, yeah, the back is just right there. So it looks like it just slides in these rails and then you just screw it into whatever hole you can line it up with. So I don't know, one inch increments or something there. You can see these slide in and out too, all of them, even that back bar. And I'm just going to slide this frame great now it's not going to come off right off. they were pretty seized up so i've been using some penetrating oil see so you could potentially make this thing really wide and that's what i'm going to do i'm probably going to swing these right out so that i can still keep these oh no is that locked oh no i'm pulling on the wrong part there we go so i can keep these hand rests i took the bottom mount off there so it's not going to stay there until it's folded. but anyways i can keep these factory armrests down i might modify them a little bit just so they're a little bit so they stick out a little bit further or maybe they stick in a little bit this way like in in here i'll just make a bend i don't know yet i got a i got a long ways to go on this thing and it's early in the game i'm just dismantling but you can see that you can swing those out fairly wide so just move that there i'm gonna take this right out there we go knock that off I'm gonna knock this side off i'm just gonna make sure that my electric control oops it's turned on is not going to get damaged it just has a little pinch clamp like that and goes on to one of these bars so i'm going to be probably reusing that stuff cleaning it up though i'm going to be touching up the paint and everything on this thing and once that's all taken apart i'm going to end up with this frame on its own so what i'm going to try to do i had to take the quick release off the seat it's, it's laying up over there by the grinder and i've got two bolts here that go into the seat slide so this is the slide frame on the seat and the back ones I had to cut off because it's like a rivet that goes through there. But it's not going to affect how I might have to weld a bolt on. So I got another bolt like this. But what I'm thinking about doing is making this similar to a quick release seat in the way that I might just put a hook on the back there or something or something that pins in to the back of the frame on the wheelchair. 
and then just one nut up here where it's really easy to get at. I'll weld the tab on right up at the front of the front, front of the frame here, like here, or even just maybe drill a hole right through there. Well, if I can, I got to watch if it affects my slide here. So I might have to even 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 if I double this up and put another piece of square tube on the end or a chunk of angle iron, and I can bolt right through that. So all you have to do is take a electric, an impact or something, pop those two bolts out. The back will probably have some sort of a bracket that goes on here, or a pin. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put an eye eye underneath here, so the back of the seat slides in there, or maybe just a fork that holds onto that, or a hook that goes right underneath it. Maybe that'd probably be the easiest. And then the rail will sit right in there. So what I've got to do is lower this right down. Turn it on. Where's my sweet seat button? Now I took all the wires off. Off, so I didn't, didn't pull anything out here. Where is it? I'm gonna also mount this stuff. Really easy to get at place, but all right, let's see. Come on, little girl. There we go. Just lower this all the way down. Okay, it looks like that's as far as she wants to go. And I don't think that's the end of its travel, so I better find out what's going on there. Because if it doesn't want to go down flat, then I'm going to have to adjust that in the seat because I don't want it tilted back permanently like that. Not too sure what's going on there. But anyways, I'll get it sitting flat, this frame. Maybe that is flat. I don't. I don't think so because it looks like there's still an inch or so of travel there. I might uh, might have to adjust it a little bit something but anyways I'll get the sitting flat and then I'm gonna try to put the seat tracks these if possible I want those tracks I'll have to be careful because they slide in and out but I'd like to have them sitting right down in here to give me myself another whatever this is three-quarter inch of tube steel to give me that extra three-quarters of an inch and I'll, what I'll do is I'll make sure that I don't drill any holes through this or anything so that my adjustment side to side on the factory armrests that set up isn't affected by it and I might instead of bolting these I might just get a, a like a trailer hitch pin type thing put in there so you can just pop it out slide them in and out everything was seized up pretty good on this thing and what I find works really good for penetrating oils this stuff's the best that I've found that's available aero coil and the nice thing about that is it kind of smells like a cleaner like don't get me wrong it stinks but it uh, it's kind of smells it doesn't smell like uh, industrial oil or gear oil or something it smells like a cleaner so when this thing goes into the care home that it's where the where the person that it's going to is is going to be using it they'll just think it smells like some sort of a, a cleaner that's got some bleach or ammonia in it so that, that's a good thing about that uh, just looking at it here I got to get this thing so it goes all the way down and sits flat but I've also got some adjustment here for height so it's kind of cool how they make these things so you can fit that's what when they when they say they can custom fit wheelchairs to people of course that's what they're talking about is they can slide all these frames in and out and make it as wide or narrow or tall or short as they need for the person that's using it and they charge you an exorbitant amount of money so that's why I'm making this is this can all be done by somebody with a set of Canadian tire sockets like all this is quarter inch hardware just about all of it use a uh, 7 16 wrench and a ratchet and away you go so I'm going to be documenting that as we go through this build. But right now, I've got to uh, get to work here. It's getting late. Okay, getting this thing tore apart here. And I'm getting the seat disassembled that's going on to the wheelchair as well. Now that I've got the plate, that plastic plate over there that the cushion was sitting on originally, it's pretty, pretty basic. It's got a chunk of aluminum angle iron on the back that you can see there. Some Velcro that the, seat, the original seat cushion would have stuck to. Pretty basic, nothing fancy. Uh, here's the seat frame. So as I was saying, the seat I only have so much clearance in between this frame and the top of the batteries and the control. There is uh, control for the motors and relays and stuff in this box here. So this can only go down so far. And then this is kind of neat here. You get a good, really good look at the actuator. This electric actuator is a motor there. And then this is just like a equivalent of a hydraulic cylinder. And this is just like a dump box frame on a dump truck so it's it's pretty neat I, I like the design it's I know that guys build a lot of stuff out of these wheelchairs and I can see why you see them on robot wars and stuff they'll use the electric wheelchairs and put remote controls on them and uh, it's really cool you could use this 
if you got one of these things for really cheap or free you could you could make a little dump truck out of it or or you could make a remote some sort of remote control track vehicle or something I'd like to build one with tracks like this and make it a hybrid so you can put a, a Honda engine on it like a five horse engine with an alternator on it and charge the batteries or you could just not take the engine right off have it on a on like a hitch with a plug-in to the alternator and then just run on battery power when you're indoors and when you're outdoors run it with the engine I'd like to do that <clears throat> uh, I don't know when that's gonna happen because I got a lot of projects on the go this is actually I'm having I'm enjoying this I haven't been able to tear into anything like this for a while because I've been busy with my house and working on my shop and stuff like that so I'm getting it taken apart I got the other the other footrest piece out it just slides in and out this side's still on had a ton of bolts holding this on just quarter inch hardware but see this is totally adjustable so it can go can slide there's quite a lot of adjustment there so I might have to try to reuse some of that tube or I might I might just move these in like this to the inside like I was talking I could even possibly use that tube that already is in there and I, don't know, I just heard somebody honk on I think they're honking at me anyway sorry uh, distraction I could probably just put a put a mount in there and then they would still be adjustable but they'd be inside I'd have to make sure it cleared the wheel or possibly like this like I was talking to having one anyway I'll figure that out later uh, those are there so when you see people talking about custom fitting wheelchairs these are really cool how they make them totally adjustable it's super basic stuff though I can't believe they charge sixteen thousand dollars for this setup uh, I know there's some electronics and some drive motors that are expensive and the batteries but still I mean to charge as much as a new snowmobile for one of these things is, is kind of outrageous I think and that's what I'm saying about the healthcare people that they do take advantage so here there's you can see adjustment here for your whole seat frame to get closer to the front wheels I think that's I think I'll probably do that just to get more wheel like for the footrest more clearance there so I'm gonna have to figure out yeah the back is just right there so it looks like it just slides in these rails and then you just screw it into whatever hole you can line it up with so I don't know one inch increments or something there you can see these slide in and out too all of them even that back bar and I'm just gonna slide this frame great now it's not gonna come off right now they were pretty seized up so I've been using some penetrating oil see so you could potentially make this thing really wide and that's what I'm gonna do I'm probably gonna swing these right out so that I can still keep these oh no is that locked oh no I'm pulling on the wrong part there we go so I can keep these hand rests I took the bottom mount off there so it's not gonna stay there until it's folded. but anyways I can keep these factory armrests down I might modify them a little bit just so they're a little bit so they stick out a little bit further or maybe they stick in a little bit this way like in, in here I'll just make a bend I don't know yet I got a I got a long ways to go on this thing and it's early in the game I'm just dismantling but you can see that you can swing those out fairly wide so just move that there I'm gonna take this right out there we go knock that off I'm gonna knock this side off I'm just gonna make sure that my electric control oops, was turned on is not going to get damaged it just has a little pinch clamp like that and goes on to one of these bars so i'm going to be probably reusing that stuff cleaning it up though i'm going to be touching up the paint and everything on this thing and once that's all taken apart i'm going to end up with this frame on its own so what i'm going to try to do i had to take the quick release off the seat it's, it's laying up over there by the grinder and i've got two bolts here that go into the seat slide so this is the slide frame on the seat and the back ones I had to cut off because it's like a rivet that goes through there but it's not going to affect how I might have to weld a bolt on so I got another bolt like this but what I'm thinking about doing is making this similar to a quick release seat in the way that I might just put a hook on the back there or something or something that pins in to the back of the frame on the wheelchair and then just one nut up here where it's really easy to get at I'll weld the tab on right up at the front of the front of the frame here like here or even just maybe drill a hole right through there well if I can I gotta watch if it affects my slide here. So I might have to even, even even if I double this up and put another piece of square tube on the end or a chunk of angle iron and I can bolt right through that. So all you have to do is take a electric an impact or something, pop those two bolts out. The back will probably have some sort of a bracket that goes on here or a pin. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put an eye eye underneath here. So the back of the seat slides in there, or maybe just a fork that holds onto that, or a hook that goes right underneath it. Maybe that'd probably be the easiest. And then the rail will sit right in there. So what I've got to do is lower this right down. I'll turn it on. 
there's my sweet seat button now. I took all the wires off, off so I didn't, didn't pull anything out here. Where is it? I'm gonna also mount this stuff in a really easy to get at place, but all right, let's see. Come on, little girl. There we go. Just lower this all the way down. Okay, it looks like that's as far as she wants to go. And I don't think that's the end of its travel, so I better find out what's going on there, because if it doesn't want to go down flat, then I'm going to have to adjust that in the seat, because I don't want it tilted back permanently like that. Not too sure what's going on there. But anyways, I'll get it sitting flat, this frame. Maybe that is flat, I don't I don't think so because it looks like there's still an inch or so of travel there. I might uh, might have to adjust it a little bit or something. But anyways, I'll get this sitting flat and then I'm gonna try to put the seat tracks, these if possible. I want those tracks, I'll have to be careful because they slide in and out, but I'd like to have them sitting right down in here to give me myself another, whatever this is, three quarter inch of tube steel to give me that extra three quarters of an inch and I'll, what I'll do is I'll make sure that I don't drill any holes through this or anything so that my adjustment side to side on the factory armrests, that setup, isn't affected by it. And I might, instead of bolting these, I might just get a, a like a trailer hitch pin type thing put in there so you can just pop it out and slide them in and out. Everything was seized up pretty good on this thing and what I find works really good for penetrating wells. This stuff's the best that I've found that's available aerocoil and the nice thing about that is it kind of smells like a cleaner like don't get me wrong it stinks but it uh, it's kind of smells it doesn't smell like uh, industrial oil or gear oil or something it smells like a cleaner so when this thing goes into the care home that it's where the where the person that it's going to is is going to be using it they'll just think it smells like some sort of a, a cleaner that's got some bleach or ammonia in it so that, that's a good thing about that uh, just looking at it here I gotta get this thing so it goes all the way down and sits flat. But I've also got some adjustment here for height, so it's kind of cool how they make these things. So you can fit. That's what when they when they say they can custom fit wheelchairs to people. Of course, that's what they're talking about is they can slide all these frames in and out and make it as wide or narrow or tall or short as they need for the person that's using it. And they charge you an exorbitant amount of money. So that's why I'm making this. Is this can all be done by somebody with a set of Canadian Tire sockets? Like all this is quarter inch hardware, just about all of it use a uh, 7 16 wrench and a ratchet and away you go so i'm going to be documenting that as we go through this build but right now i've got to uh, get to work here it's getting late okay I ended up having to take these bolts out here rear hinge point on this so this whole frame is loose now with some wires that are still attached so i can't take it completely off which it's kind of goofy because even when i tilted it all the way up you can't get in here to get this Allen bolt here because I want to slide this all the way forward, adjust it all the way forward if I can. I think that's going to be the best for foot room. And you can't do that unless you take the frame right off, which is really goofy. And the other thing about it is, let's pull that track right out of there. Oh, maybe, okay, maybe these things, maybe the holes slide inside those channels too. But you only got these four bolt holes up here as far as I can tell to move your seats forward or, or back this one slides it must must just be seized out yeah okay so the holes slide so that's what you got to do but you still have to get in there to loosen this off in order to adjust it and to do that you have to actually take this right off so that's not the greatest design but that's where I'm at I got this little baby torn down pretty good you can see that I put the seat all the way up the tilt all the way up that's how far it tilts up so that's pretty slick setup so while i'm at it i'm gonna lower it down so that that's flat so that the seat that i put on is going to sit flat when it's in the lower lowest position all right back to work okay what i ended up doing was taking the the seat slides right off the seat so i don't have my width i'll have to measure that and make sure that i keep these if i was going to weld a piece of angle across to hold them the right distance apart but I couldn't fit it down inside this frame I'd like to I'd like for these to sit kind of down inside here countersunk 
I now looking at it, I don't think that's going to work just the, with the way this is set up. I've got it down as far as it would go and as forward as, as far as the adjustment would go now. Uh, everything's just sitting there loose. But because of the way these are set up for your armrests and stuff, to make it so it didn't interfere with the existing setup, which I don't want to, I don't want to, to adjust it all. Like I don't, I don't want to change that. I want to leave that all where it's at, so that I can put it all back together and it'll have those factory armrests if needed. Um, I might, I'm just thinking about it. I might just make a totally different setup for those as well. But anyways, that's that's not going to happen right now. That'll be after I get the seat on. I was going to try and put these right down inside there, but you can see how it, these also have to slide back and forth. This piece slides actually past the end of it. So it'll have to sit on top of here. <clears throat> There's no other way of doing it right now at this point. And I might have to adjust the width as they kind of slide off. Anyway, it's not going to be that big of a deal. I just, it was just getting too hard to try to adjust all this with the seat sitting on top of it. And then I don't want to damage the leather on the seat with it falling over and stuff. Every time I put it up here, it would fall over backwards. So it looks like it's gonna work pretty good though. Uh, I might have to just weld a chunk of angle or a piece of flat iron on, on here to bridge that, just so that I have something to bolt this to. And then the seat bolts onto these three bolts here. I'm probably gonna bolt the seat to it. And then, like I say, I might, I might make a quick attach in the back, some sort of a, a hook that'll just go around that square tubing I think is probably going to be the quickest and easiest and then one bolt in the front here this bolt knock this bolt out and just take your seat right off so that'll be nice if to remove the seat if I can get it set up like that and then if you ever have to do anything with your linkage down here it's really accessible you just pop the seat off or if you want to transport it or something without the seat on just go ahead and pop the seat off that's what I want to do if I have to adjust the width here that's not a big deal I'll just cut this bar here and then I'll, I'll shorten it and weld it and then these won't line up with the seat but I'll just put a piece of metal over bolts into the seat and then fasten the nut holds it on to here so I mean if I use like a chunk of quarter inch plate there's plenty of room there for that it'll be plenty strong there'll be a little bit of leverage this way but I'm not worried about that <clears throat> it's what the seats what it's sitting on that's got to be solid so I think what I'm going to end up having to do is Put something I'll measure it up but I'll have to probably lengthen these out a little bit so put something on top of there and then that won't affect the adjustment of those when I go to put those back on if I can find some of this same size tubing and line it up really well I might just go ahead and just lengthen this a little bit that'll be the quickest easiest easiest way to do it right now and that's actually as far down as it goes you can see it's got little stops the frame here so the seat always has a bit of a tilt like that and I don't particularly like the idea of that because you can always tilt it back further but you, if that's as far as it goes forward and I've also got to drop the frame drop down as far as I can here on this bracket I don't really like the way it's going to be tilted like that all the time I know that the it kind of sits with a bit of rake on those I guess I can drop the front wheels down one more notch here and gain three quarters of an inch or so there uh, sacrifice a little bit of ground clearance but that's not a big deal I'll lower the center of gravity so maybe I'll do that and the seats pretty pretty level that seat frame it's got a bit of a tilt to it but I can always adjust that I can I, what I'll probably do is adjust that with this slide so I'll, I'll mount the slide a little bit to higher in the back just so that it accounts for that little bit of tilt that you can't get rid of and then it'll still tilt back plenty far enough I mean this thing goes almost it probably goes 45 degrees when that actuator is all the way extended. Right, so I'm getting pretty close to putting things together and manufacturing or fabricating some parts for this old girl. Looking forward to that. Going to paint some parts, some of these brackets and stuff that are rusty and touch it up a little bit with some flat black, I think, and give it a wash down and stuff too uh, while it's apart. All right, stay tuned. All right, <clears throat> cleaned this thing up, went and had some supper, took a break. When I came back, I, I had to clean it up because <clears throat> it was just too grungy. Put some air in the tires. It looks a lot better. Unfortunately, some of the decals blew off when I pressure washed it. But I got some stuff for that. Now, what I'm worried about now is just that it's a little too tall. Even when I drop the seat down, 
can see that it's sitting quite a bit higher and the main thing is because of that tilt mechanism there. So I think that <clears throat> what the idea is is to keep the center of gravity really low so the thing's not tippy. With the batteries in the bottom there and the drive motors and all that weight down there, I can't see it being really tippy, but at the same time, I think it's, it'd be a good idea if I can try to drop it down even, even a couple inches. So I have no idea how I'm going to be able to do that. Maybe I can, it'd be a real pain, but maybe I can flip the, the tracks, the seat tracks upside down, or maybe I'll just have to ditch those seat tracks all together and just mount the seat on solid and it doesn't move back and forth, which is unfortunate, but is it really necessary that it moves back and forth? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It'd be nice that it does, but if it's too tall, then I'll have to, you know, I got to deal with that. I got to get it down. So it's unfortunate that because it's that frame there and I don't want to move the, the original mounts, those pieces of tube steel. What I ended up doing was adding about an inch on each side. I needed 16 and three quarter inches. And this is just a couple inches shy to mount the seat rails on. So that's what I ended up doing in there. And I made a quick attach system for the back. So by doing that, I want to keep all this original stuff as janky as it is. See, I think I'm going to need the controls and, and that have to mount to it, right? This stuff. So I'm going to figure out how to make that look a little bit better. And these will just be flipped up in the original position like that. And then you can fold them back, of course. I'll just leave those the way they are. But the problem is, is those mount underneath the seat here and that whole thing is why the seat is higher than it needs to be. In the back here I just ended up making a piece that goes, this is just kind of mocked up, that's why it's not sitting straight. But this this is going to be welded to the seat track. <clears throat> that just goes over top of this piece of square tube and then I'll have a pin that goes through here and that's what's going to hold the back of it in. Just like that one there. So you just pull this pin out, take a bolt out in the front and pop the seat right off. There's no wires, no electrical in the seat, so it can come right off. But I just wish that I could get it sitting a little lower. Like you can see, probably three, four inches there of space. Um, like I say, if this doesn't work, I may have to just make it so it doesn't slide forward and back and just mount it straight onto the wheelchair and just let it just have one function as tilt. I moved this forward quite a bit. So that the just so there's more foot room, so it'll be easier to build a piece for the for your feet to to rest on. I'm gonna keep all the original stuff in case they give me flack about building, modifying it. I can always bring it back to stock if it comes right down to it. So it's been been a fun project tonight. That's kind of what I, part that I wanted to get to is just to get this seat mounted on there and get the batteries in it, make sure it runs. And it does. It works pretty good. I got the charger. I'm going to plug it in, charge it up. When you look at it, really, it doesn't look much taller than what they what they come from new these days. The way they come from, or probably the way they come new from the factory. I've still got one bolt hole I can go down on the front wheels, I think, too. I can drop those down a little bit right there, so that'll help a little bit with the ride height. Anyway, I'm going to call her night as far as I got tonight. By tomorrow afternoon, poor night, I'll probably be, I'll probably be just about done with it. There's going to be a few modifications that I'm going to do. If I had more time, I'm kind of pressed to get this thing done. I put it on the back burner and now it needs to be done. So like a lot of my projects, I think I'll, I'll move these, I'll bend these a little bit down here, change the mounting somehow, possibly add, add on to this tube. To bring them back so that when the when the seat if the seat can, it'll allow the seat to slide back and forward more well back more it doesn't it's not going to affect the forward that's kind of neutral oh no i guess it's up it's ahead about two inches there so it, it should have some adjustment i think if i'm going to keep those seat slides in there if not i'll have to drop the seat right down lower but i'll see how it goes Tomorrow I'll come back and maybe I'll think of something overnight. It's always good to give it a night, think about it. It's amazing what you come up with when you just sleep on something. So that's where I'm going to leave her for today and uh, 
Stay tuned for what's coming up tomorrow. All right, <clears throat> cleaned this thing up. Went and had some supper, took a break. When I came back, I, I had to clean it up because <clears throat> it was just too grungy. Put some air in the tires. It looks a lot better. Unfortunately, some of the decals blew off when I pressure washed it. But I got some stuff for that. Now, what I'm worried about now is just that it's a little too tall. Even when I drop the seat down, you can see that it's sitting quite a bit higher. And the main thing is because of that tilt mechanism there. So, I think that <clears throat> what the idea is is to keep the gra center of gravity really low so the thing's not tippy. With the batteries in the bottom there and the drive motors and all that weight down there, I can't see it being really tippy. But at the same time, I think it's, it'd be a good idea if I can try to drop it down even, even a couple inches. So I have no idea how I'm going to be able to do that. Maybe I can, it'd be a real pain, but maybe I can flip the, the tracks, the seat tracks upside down. Or maybe I'll just have to ditch those seat tracks all together and just mount the seat on solid and it doesn't move back and forth which is unfortunate, but is it really necessary that it moves back and forth? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, it'd be nice that it does, but if it's too tall, then I'll have to, you know, I gotta deal with that, I gotta get it down. So it's unfortunate that, because it's that frame there and I don't wanna move the, the original mounts, those pieces of tube steel. What I ended up doing was adding about an inch on each side. I needed 16 and three quarter inches, and this is just a couple inches shy to mount the seat rails on. So that's what I ended up doing in there. And I made a quick attach system for the back. So by doing that, I want to keep all this original stuff as janky as it is. See, I think I'm going to need the controls and, and that have to mount to it, right? This stuff. So I'm going to figure out how to make that look a little bit better. And these will just be flipped up in the original position like that. And then you can fold them back, of course. I'll just leave those the way they are. But the problem is, is those mount underneath the seat here, and that whole thing is why the seat is higher than it needs to be. In the back here, I just ended up making a piece that goes, this is just kind of mocked up, that's why it's not sitting straight. But this, this is going to be welded to the seat track. <clears throat> that just goes over top of this piece of square tube. And then I'll have a pin that goes through here. And that's what's going to hold the back of it in just like that one there. So you just pull this pin out, take a bolt out in the front, and pop the seat right off. There's no wires, no electrical in the seat, so it can come right off. But I just wish that I could get it sitting a little lower. Like you can see, probably three, four inches there of space. Um, like I say, if this doesn't work, I may have to just make it so it doesn't slide forward and back and just mount it straight onto the wheelchair and just let it just have one function as tilt. I uh, moved this forward quite a bit, uh, so that the just so there's more foot room, so it'll be easier to build a piece for the for your feet to to rest on. I'm gonna keep all the original stuff in case they give me flack about building, modifying it. I can always bring it back to stock if it comes right down to it. So it's been been a fun project T tonight. That's kind of what I, part that I wanted to get to is just to get this seat mounted on there and get the batteries in it and make sure it runs. And it does, it works pretty good. I got the charger, I'm gonna plug it in, charge it up. When you look at it, really, it doesn't look much taller than what they what they come from new these days, the way they come from, or probably the way they come new from the factory. I've still got one bolt hole I can go down on the front wheels, I think, too. Can drop those down a little bit right there so that'll help a little bit with the ride height anyway i'm going to call her night as far as i got tonight by tomorrow afternoon for night i'll probably be i'll probably be just about done with it there's going to be a few modifications that i'm going to do if i had more time i'm kind of pressed to get this thing done i put it on the back burner and now it needs to be done so like a lot of my projects i think i'll I'll move these, I'll bend these a little bit down here, change the mounting somehow, possibly add, add on to this tube to bring them back so that when the, when the seat, if the seat, it'll allow the seat to slide back and forward more.
well back more it doesn't it's not going to affect the forward that's kind of neutral oh no i guess it's up it's ahead about two inches there so it, it should have some adjustment i think if i'm going to keep those seat slides in there if not i'll have to drop the seat right down lower but i'll see how it goes tomorrow i'll come back and maybe i'll think of something overnight it's always good to give it a night think about it it's amazing what you come up with when you just sleep on something so that's where I'm going to leave her for today and uh, stay tuned for what's coming up tomorrow.